Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about API.ai intents. It's intended to be an introduction to intents. And let's look at the definition from the documentation. The intent is defined as a mapping between what a user says and what action should be taken by your software. And it also mentions that the intent has the following section. And here are some things that you may not know about intents. Um, the first one is that you can't have two intents with the same name. If the name clashes, then API.ai will effectively uh, cancel the second intent and not allow you to save it. And you can have intents which don't have any user says filled out. And you can also have intents which don't have any text responses filled out. So let's go into the API.ai console to take a look at an example of an intent. Uh, what I'll do is click on this create intent button and create a new intent. So I'm going to call it standing. The user says for this will be I am standing. And the text response which the chatbot will tell uh, will be okay noted that you are standing. Let's go ahead and save that. I'm going to add another intent and I'm going to talk, call it talking and the user expression will be I am talking and the text response will be okay noted that you are talking. Let's go ahead and save that too. So what we have done now is we have created two intents in our test agent. Uh, that's the name of the agent, by the way, which are um, which are expressions that the user would say, and based on whatever the expression was, the agent should reply back with an appropriate response. You will also note that API.ai already created the default fallback intent as well as the default welcome intent. We will look at these in a later video. For now, we are just interested in the two intents that I created. So you want to test how this works. So let's just go to this console, test console on the right hand side. And you can say, just one of the expressions that the user might say, I am standing. So you can see that the default response is coming back, which is saying that, okay, noted that you're standing. So this means API.ai was able to infer that the user's message corresponded to the standing intent. And that is what was, uh, that's what the documentation means when it says the intent represents a mapping between what a user says and what action should be taken by your software. Of course, before we can actually take any action, we should identify which intent was uh, triggered. And here, the fact that API.ai comes back with this, okay, noted that you're standing, means that the standing intent was the one which was triggered. Let's try, I am talking. So as you would expect, it comes back with, okay, noted that you're talking. All right. So we saw what happened when we, when the user says, I am talking or I am standing. Now let's select an expression which has not been defined in our agent. So let's say that the user says, I am jumping. So I would like you to take a moment and think about what API.ai should do in this scenario. So we don't have an expression for I am jumping, which means it certainly should not map it to either the standing or the talking intents. So let's see what it does. Okay, so you can see that the response is sorry, I didn't get that. And if you're wondering where it came from, uh, the console gives you enough information to find out. So you can see that the intent is the default fallback intent. 
let's look at what the default fallback intent contains and you can see that the text response uh, matches the uh, the response which came which came back when we uh, when the user expression was I am jumping so I don't want to go into much detail about the default fallback intent in this video but you can see that if api.ai cannot match the user's expression to any of the intents which are already defined it should uh, it should go to this thing called the fallback it, it's a it's a it's a way to fall back um, and you will um, see that if you in a, any agent that you create you should always have this default fallback intent uh, available as soon as you create the agent so that brings an end to this discussion and we will go into more detail about intents in a later video so thanks for watching